What up, YouTube? Denny in Saigon. My name's Denny. I'm an American, but I live here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It's another beautiful day. I'm in the way again. There's a truck behind me, and I'm going to try to get out of his way. I'm always in someone's way here. Oh, look, he's helping this girl pushing her motorbike. You see that a lot here. Somebody's motorbike has uh, died. Get a, get a hand. Or foot. Oh, it's another beautiful day. Very hot. It's going to be hot soon. It's, the heat is a killer here. Excuse me. It's going to be real hot in probably uh, another month or two. And it's hot now, but it's going to get even hotter. And, uh, it can be brutal. I'm always sweaty here. I have to change clothes a lot, and i got to shower a lot. Probably recognize where I'm at. I had to go sign a contract. I'm going to work for a, a little company and teach at the public schools. Here's this uh, big language center that I always show you when I come by it, because it's a big one. I've never come over here and applied. Hello. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go turn right right here. See what's down here. Must be time to go to class. My goodness. Oh, there's a school down here. Let's see. Looks like there's a school down here. Apparently, or something. I've never come back here before. I'll turn around. I'm just driving around. Uh, that's what I do. I make my videos sometimes on the back of a motorbike and I'm just driving around looking. Who knows what we'll see. It looks pretty nice. I don't know what it is. Homes and businesses and everything's kind of mixed together here in Vietnam. They don't really zone, I guess, like we do in the West. So you just kind of find things mixed together. You never know what you'll find. Hello. Looks like a nice place. Thai food. Thai food? Look at that. It's Thai food. And I love Thai food. So they got a... Looks like it goes through to the front, obviously, because the highway's right over there. Looks like a nice Thai food restaurant. Thai food's awesome. Hello. <laughs> uh... What's this? Another language center? Another little language center? <laughs> you could probably go apply at any of these little language centers. They, you might be able to pick up a job there. Maybe they're looking for a teacher. Maybe they're trying to recruit. Um, I just met a teacher who has only been here for three months. Nice young fella named Richard. And I think maybe he's from... He had a little bit of an accent, so he's not an American. Um, I didn't get to talk to him for very long. He was on his way in, and I was walking out. But he, uh, he's been here for three months, and he came from China. He was in China. He didn't, he didn't mind it too bad. Uh, he liked it, but he said it was, you know, the VPNs and all that. <laughs> I told him I feel free here. I feel very free in Vietnam. I feel very free. Uh, and I feel, you know, very happy. Everyone here is happy. The people here are happy. Mostly, I meet happy people. And the kids are really, uh, really happy and well-loved. That's why I love these kids here. Uh, you can tell that their parents treat them very well. <laughs> They're sweet. Hello. See these kids here? There's a school back there, I guess. I'm going to go real slow. Walk right through here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, they're doing good. I'll just go right through there very slowly. Another language center right here. See, it must it's lunchtime and everybody's getting out. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> I don't know what she's saying most to me or what. <laughs> Another Lancaster Center. There's a bunch of them back through here. Look at that tree. That's cool, isn't it? I don't know what kind of tree that is. Um, he fell asleep. Should stop and talk to those students, but I don't want to. I don't want to surprise them. <laughs> Maybe someone would talk to me though. Some of my. Usually the younger kids, like when you come here, it's the kids who will know English the best a lot of times, and and that's especially true in Cambodia. I used to teach in Cambodia uh, for about six months. I taught there at a private school, so it wasn't really the same kind of format as they do here. So we have snails and clams. Hello. <laughs> I just uh just look. <laughs> you gotta watch where you're going here. See little kids walking everywhere. <laughs> you don't want to run over her. <laughs> um, Cambodia, the kids, uh, you know, they can speak English pretty well, really. And I, uh, in my private school, they were they were doing pretty well. But I had to do a lot of work there. I had to write, you know, tests and make up games and worksheets. Every day I brought in my word search and I made it myself. Here, um, I use slides a lot. I have a lot of slides, by the way. If you're, if you're gonna teach here, or if you are teaching and you, you need some slides, you can probably just Google my name, Teacher Denny, or go to my website, you can find my link. And I have slides that I made, and you can use them. They're free online. Have a lot of topics, and uh, I try to improve them sometimes. I, I don't have time to work on them much, but I have—I already have a, many, quite a few. I have a lot of animals and a lot of foods, and uh, quite a few other stuff. Slides are very handy here because you can show a picture, and then you can say the word, and uh, that's, that's quite a bit of it. Again, uh, I teach children mostly, but you do get some opportunities to teach other, you know. I've been offered, uh, you know, jobs teaching math and science to, like, uh, you know, middle school kids and stuff. I don't really want to do that. I like teaching English to little kids. But, uh, whatever, you know, whatever you're into, <laughs> they, have, they do have it here, I'm sure. My uh, job is not too difficult, really. The only difficult part about my job is, you know, keeping them entertained and keeping them, you know, in their seats, maybe. I can't really do that, but the teacher's assistant can do that if she shows up. Or the teacher. They'll be a teacher or a teacher's assistant. There'll be somebody in there. And if they, you know, they'll listen to the Vietnamese, you know, when she comes in and hollers at them. They'll listen to them. <laughs> I don't like to holler at my students, you know. That's not me. And in the public schools, you know, they walk around with sticks and they'll they'll whack them. So they stay pretty well behaved in the public schools. But I'm not going to. Uh, I, I don't. I don't like to see them do that. <laughs> I don't like to see them whack the kids. A lot of times I see them when they're whacking them, and I don't even know what they did. <laughs> I didn't think they did anything wrong. But whatever. So. One time over in Cambodia, you know, in Kampuchea, I had some I had some young students. I remember this one little guy, a couple little guys. Oh my goodness, they were terrors. They were difficult as can be, you know. Uh, they were, you know, just young kids. Just I I don't know what their situation was at home, but the one kid, okay, he uh, one day for what I forget, he was doing something terrible. He really he went over the line. The one kid, he had the lighter in the back of the room and he was lighting paper on fire. And then the other kid, I forget, he was doing something crazy. So I took him down to the principal's office, you know. I had to. And uh, the kids went home and then the next day, one of them comes back and he, he, he pulls up his shirt sleeves and he's all black and blue. His arms are all black and blue. And he looks at me and says, your fault, teacher. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, not my fault. <laughs> I said, not my fault. You know, I was... I feel bad about that, but what can you do? He 
at school, you know, they can't be lighting paper on fire and stuff. They can get hurt. They can't be, uh, I don't like to see them disrupting the other students. They, they want to sit there and not learn. You know, I'm not going to really do much about that. But if they want to disrupt the other students who are trying to learn, I don't really like that. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. So, you just do the best you can. Um, I try to do the best I can. I try to be a good teacher. I try to stay pleasant and happy all the time in class, you know. Take everything with a grain of salt and let it, let it roll off you like water, you know. And, uh, I mean, I'll bet my ex is really wondering how in the world I'm accomplishing this over here. Because she does, probably does not recall me as a patient person. <laughs> but I have patience now. I have patience somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. By the grace of God, I guess. I'm going to get some, some more plants for my balcony. My wife's been getting everything. She got some fish and she got a turtle. Although the turtle, I can't even tell you what happened to the turtle. The turtle climbed out somehow, got away. I don't know where it went. Probably down the hole and it's probably in the Saigon sewer by now. So I'm not too happy about that. <laughs> my wife, she does almost everything perfectly, but sometimes, you know, she'll make, she'll, she'll flub up. For whatever reason, she, she goes and she buys a chicken when we're down in the kite line. She just gets one baby chick. She just gets one baby chick. And I told her, you know, honey, you got to get more than one. It's, they're, they're like fish. They got a school, you know. You got to get more than one. It's going to die. So it did. It died. About one day or whatever, it died. So then now she went and she got fish, you know. But she just gets one fish. She just gets one. <laughs> one little lonely fish, you know. I'm like, honey, you got, they got a school. You got to get a dozen fish, you know. A couple of them will die or whatever, and you'll be left with ten, maybe, if you're lucky. The thing about fish, you know, fish die. That's what they do. You, they, you may have a perfectly healthy tank, but they, they may just drop dead. You may not know why. <laughs> I don't know. If, if you don't have a healthy tank, you'll know why they died, but if you do, you won't know. See, look at this. I should show you that. You can get all the plants. It's green here. There's always green. They deliver trees. If you wanted to, you could probably call them. They deliver one of these to your house. It'd be cool to have a nice pad here in Vietnam uh, because you could do so much with it. If you're a person with money, you know, you could come over here and start a coffee shop. You could probably build a coffee shop and a house on the roof and have a really, have a really kicking place. You know, you can have everything here. Hello. You can have a waterfall. I want a, there's my language center. I want a waterfall. I want a waterfall. I want, like my boss built down in Kailai. He built a waterfall. Look at what these boys is doing. It looks pretty nice, don't it? Can you see that? Let's have a look. Hello. Xin chào. Xin chào. Do you know about engines? you know what size that is? Looks like they build them here. Or recondition them. <laughs> they get surprised and they're like, oh, what? That's what they have, is just manufacturing this mobile phone store. You get mobile phone. My cell phone's only 20 bucks a year here. Cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. There's manufacturing in there. I should have showed you that. They make clothes, I think. Let's see, what's down here? Never go down here. Let's find out. And I don't I see I don't know what the homes some of them are homes and some of them manufacturing and shops and all kind of things so I don't really want to show you inside somebody's home right because like <laughs> you never know what you'll see when you look into people's homes here so you don't really do that <laughs> but but shops and stuff maybe you want to see that this is clothes for sale I love these coffee shops because they're so 
peaceful. Let's see, I know where I'm at. I remember this place. I was back here the other day, wasn't I? Or was I? They do look very similar, don't they? Hello! <laughs> Looks familiar, it sure does, but everything looks the same here. I think I think I know where I'm coming out at. I believe. I need a fish tank. I need a big fish tank. I have just a little tiny <laughs> I have a little tiny thing. Hello. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm just driving around. <laughs> oh driving. I'm driving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just make a video. Video? Oh. <laughs> Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Where, where are you from? I'm from the USA. Oh, yeah. Where are you from? Oh, I'm, I am here. Yeah, I'm from uh, Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam, Vietnam. You, are you from Ho Chi Minh City? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, very good. My name is Denny. Denny, uh, I am Phu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you go and, uh, and recording the video on, on the road. Yeah, I just saw uh, and, show and the show that. The, yeah, the homes and the businesses and uh, the architecture and, uh, uh, and the people. So it's uh, very far compared with uh, the center of Ho Chi Minh, the center city. Yeah, very, yeah, very, yes, very, very, very. yeah, different from the center of Ho Chi Minh City, like okay, a District okay. 12. Uh, I live, I live in District 12. Oh. Uh, near, near Heineken. Ah, uh, near yeah. Heineken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. what, what, what is your job? I'm a teacher. Oh, a teacher. A teacher. Yeah. Is this English? Yes, yes. Uh, so hey, what's your job? Oh, I am a designer. Designer? Ah, yeah. oh, what do you design? Ah, design the furniture. Furniture? furniture. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, very yeah. nice. Uh, yeah. oh. You carve? You carve furniture? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes? So, so, um, the cost? Yes. Um, very, very expensive. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. It, maybe expensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with, uh, own, own, own the people, designer, uh, very cost. Yes, I, I, uh, furniture from wood, yeah, that, wood furniture. Uh, what? Uh, wooden, uh, from trees, wood, wood. Oh, wood. That, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, the, I, I, I make a furniture, uh, own a player, uh, for Jimmy Yes. Yeah, so, where, where has you fit? Where are you teaching? Uh, I, yeah. I'm teaching at the language center uh, near uh, my home. Uh, uh, oh, Viet yeah. Ami. Viet uh, Ami. Yeah, Viet Ami. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, very good. So, uh, we will have a good uh, a report with them. Uh, uh, thank uh, you very much. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah, and yeah, nice yeah, to happy, meet you. Yeah, happy New Year. Yeah. So, we will be coming to send. Uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, you be. Be. Oh. Is it okay? Yeah, see you again. Nice uh, to meet you. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Yeah. See you. Let me start my bike here. Here we go. Nice guy, friendly guy. I love meeting people here. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Uh... Hopefully that turned out all right. I don't even know if you can see his face because I can't see my. I can't see my screen. I have an app that I'm making these videos with. Uh, and I'll, I'll upload this if you can see the guy's face, I hope. <laughs> Ugh, I got a little dirt in my throat. You do get dirt in your throat. Uh, riding around a little bit. It's a little dirty. Usually I cough when I'm, a little bit when I'm rolling around. Uh, so here's the lumber yard. Maybe I can come here and get some lumber. <laughs> I need a little piece of lumber and I told my wife I need a little piece and she said no they don't sell a little piece <laughs> I need one of these uh, I need some bamboo tie my wife up <laughs> no I'm just kidding let's see here be careful getting out here uh, they do it easily but I, I got a phone in my hand Get on this way so I can cut over. There's a truck coming and I didn't, that's why I didn't go. Well, now there's a bus coming, but I'm gonna make haste. That's kind of how you drive here. That's how I drive. I make haste and then I 
stop suddenly. <laughs> speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. That's what you got to do here. Uh, get out of the way, stay out of the way if you can. Here comes the bus. I don't like to be in their way because they, they'll push you. <laughs> However, you know, I don't know, you do get a little bit better. They treat you so well, they're probably very friendly to everybody, but look at that, the stickers. Uh, they are very friendly to me. They're very, very friendly to me as a foreigner and stuff. A lot of people in traffic, you know, is they, when they see I'm a foreigner, they, you know, they are, sometimes they give me the right play just because I'm a foreigner sometimes. Or they stop, they let me go. Uh, you may encounter that too. They're very friendly here, as you, you may tell. Uh, so it's easy here. It's easy. It's especially easy in Vietnam because the people are happy and friendly. They're very happy. Most people here are very happy. And they have, you know, they're just happy with their lives, and they're just, they're simple folks. A lot of times they, they have, uh, they just want simple things. You know, they just want a better life for their children. They just want to have, uh, you know, have a good job and a nice life and go to work every day and be happy. That's all they want. Like what most people want, really. All Benny wants is to get out of everybody's way. I'm going slow here. I had a smoothie here the other day and it was delicious. Um, but I got to get home. My wife's going to make something for me. Sweet baby. Here's the high school. I love this school. I think half of my students probably go to school here. I'm going to find out when I go there. I, I think I'm going to end up teaching here. <coughs> I've never been inside, actually, but I've been by here a hundred times, a thousand times, maybe. <laughs> um, Yeah, my wife has to drive all the way to District 2, and I don't really like that. That's not cool, but she wants to do it. We tried to figure this all out, you know. There's a... I could... If you're living over there in District 1 or District 2 and you're teaching for the recruiters and stuff, you'll probably end up driving across the city to teach. You could do that, um, but... So teaching a lot of times is one or two hours, and you're driving across the city for one or two hours, and... When the rainy season comes, man, it's a big deal. Hello. <laughs> when the rainy season comes, it's a big deal. So I don't want my wife driving across the city. She, okay, she's kind of a, a nanny or a maid or whatever. She cooks and she takes care of kids. And um, she, she gets paid more because she drives over to District 2 where all the foreigners are at, where all the expats are at. They don't have a big community of them over here in District 12, but in District 2 they do. There are a lot of foreigners there with money, you know, and she makes good money, really, for for the Vietnamese, I think. And so she wants to drive all the way over there. Um, my wife loves money, and she's, uh, you know, everybody loves money, but <laughs> she's, she's so frugal and so tight with money. If I spend one dollar, boy, she'll, she'll jump on me. She, she won't like it. She won't. She may not be happy. You know, I have to justify it if I'm going to spend a dollar. She has to go buy everything for me, so she, she's afraid they'll overcharge me. Lateria, which I love. She get a cheeseburger. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if you saw her. Did you see that little student? Might have been my student from the language center. I have so many, many students from the language center. I see them around and. A lot of kids will, uh, you know, are friendly with you if you're a teacher. They're going to say hi to you. Um, and then, I always recognize my students usually, but I have many. I have many students. So that, I do have a hard time remembering people's names. Because I ask 
you know, I ask people all the time, hundreds of times a day, usually, what is your name? It's one of the most common things I ask. I ask all my students that over and over. Because I'm just practicing for one, and plus I can't remember all their names. <laughs> uh, I say, what is your name? How are you? And how old are you? They confuse how are you and how old are you quite a bit. And they need to hear it from a native speaker usually. They, they like to hear it from a native speaker so that they can identify it from a native speaker. But a lot of the teachers here, you know, they have an accent. They have an accent that's pretty heavy. Um, or they maybe they, you know, their, their English may not be great. Some of them are, are very good. And, you know, when you meet when you meet somebody here who speaks very good English, it's like almost uh, fluent or no no accent. Or, you know, they're speaking American English. You, it's, you're very impressed. You're very impressed. You do meet that uh, people like that sometimes in Cambodia. Okay? You do meet adults sometimes, especially like tuk-tuk drivers, and you'll meet people who speak really good English. You meet tuk-tuk drivers who speak with a Vietnamese accent, or no, I mean not Vietnamese. I mean with an Australian accent. Um, they speak English with an Australian accent, uh, just like their teachers did, and they, they speak well. But you don't encounter it as much here in Vietnam. You encounter adults who do speak English, but a lot of times it's, mi it's a mixture of English levels, and maybe the vocabulary is not great. Um, the accent's thick, you know. If you come here to teach, you know, it's no problem if you have an accent. A lot of English speakers, everybody has an accent, but you know, if you have some sort of a regional accent that's not really commonly sp spoken, you should kind of tamper it down if you want to come here and teach, in my opinion. You know, for example, like, if you're from Wisconsin and you, you'd like to say a boat, you know, you should probably just maybe tamp it down a little bit when you come here, or whatever, whatever accent you got. You should kind of use common, uh, the common pronunciation, I think. It's just more helpful than that. In Indiana, people say weird things. They like they say wash. I'm going to go home and wash. <laughs> I'm going to wash my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the shower and wash. Uh, but they, you know, don't don't do that here. Really, this is not a good idea. <laughs> I don't think so. I try to speak slowly and clearly, and I I like to pronounce my words. Uh, I like to enunciate. I like to I like to overemphasize my lips when I you know speak to them, so they can see me. They can see my lips move see what I'm doing, you know, because they have a hard time, and I'm watching a whole class full of students sometimes. I, I, need to, I need to get them individually before I can tell if they're making progress. When your students make progress here, you know, over a period of time, you will see some of them making progress, and it's a very good feeling, because you know that you got to help a little bit with their progress, you know. <laughs> it's a very good feeling to help people. I love helping the Vietnamese. They're very, they're very wonderful. I love these people. I will always love the Vietnamese. Um, I'm almost home again, so I need to end my video. But uh, thanks for watching my videos if you are. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'll try to improve my uh, cinematography. I know it's awful. I can't really see what I'm shooting here. Um, that's the way it goes. I'll try to improve, but anyways, uh, I hope wherever you are that you have a wonderful day.